let's start with chinchilla food. The first type of chinchilla food is muesli mixes. These aren't recommended for chinchillas. Chinchillas are extremely prone to selective feeding, meaning they only eat the bits of the mix they like. This means they are not getting a nutritionally balanced diet. A lot of these mixes are also quite low quality and contain unhealthy ingredients for chinchillas, such as treats. Instead of muesli mixes, you should be feeding your chinchilla chinchilla pellets. Some good brands are Oxbow Essentials, Missouri and Science Selective. A good pellet should have between 2 and 5% fat, 15 and 35% fibre, and 16 to 20 percent protein you should be feeding your chinchilla at least two tablespoons of pellets a day however chinchillas don't overfeed easily so you don't have to be too worried about overfeeding them as they can regulate the amount they eat quite well finally make sure that your pellets do not contain too much sugar or molasses that they are uniform pellets to prevent selective feeding that they do not contain corn and other filler ingredients and that they contain chinchilla safe ingredients hey Hay is really important for chinchillas as it makes up 80% of their diet. The first type of hay that should be primarily fed to adult chinchillas is Timothy hay. This is the most common type of hay and again should be fed primarily to adult chinchillas and should be their main source of hay. Next is alfalfa hay. Alfalfa should primarily be fed to nursing, pregnant or baby chinchillas. However, it can be fed to adult chinchillas occasionally as a treat although you do want to be careful as it does contain high amounts of calcium. Next is Orchard Grass Hay. This is another great alternative to Timothy Hay. There is Oat Hay. As this contains oat, you do want to be careful and only feed it as occasionally as a treat. And there is Botanical Hay. Botanical Hay is mostly Timothy Hay with herbs, and so you do want to only feed it as a treat. And finally, there's Hay Cubes. Hay cubes are just another form of hay as an alternative to loose hay. This can be good if you have hay allergies or if chinchillas don't like eating loose hay. They normally come in 100% Timothy hay cubes or 50-50 Timothy alfalfa hay cubes. Next is treats. Avoid store-bought treats for your chinchillas. They often contain added sugar or molasses and contain ingredients like seeds and nuts. You want to be giving your chinchilla about a teaspoon of treats a day. There are many, many safe options of treats available, such as rose hips, hibiscus and marigold flowers. I'll leave a link in the description to a list of safe chinchilla treats. If you do have a new chinchilla or you've just got your chinchilla, I'd really recommend trying out selection boxes where you get given a small amount of each treat. This way you can find out which are your chinchilla's favourites. My chin's favourites are rose hips and hibiscus. Next is fruit and vegetables. Unlike animals such as guinea pigs and rabbits, fruit and vegetables are not a large part of chinchilla's diet. If you are going to give your chinchilla fruit and vegetables, make sure you feed them sparingly and as a treat. However, they are not necessary. You can give them as a treat occasionally, but there are also lots of other chinchilla safe treats available as well. Next is chinchilla water. Chinchillas should use water bottles, not bowls. The reason they should use a water bottle and not a bowl is because a bowl is an open source of water that your chinchilla could jump in or tip. Chinchilla's fur is very dense and so if they were to get wet it would be very hard to dry. I recommend using a glass water bottle as they are a chinchilla safe material that your chinchilla can't chew and glass water bottles also harbour less bacteria than plastic water bottles. If you are going to use a plastic water bottle, please make sure that you get a metal guard to stop your chinchilla chewing the plastic, even if it is on the outside of the cage. And like with all water bottles, you should be regularly cleaning out and changing your water every day or every other day. Next is water types. The first type is bottled water. This is a good option. Just make sure that it's still not sparkling and that it doesn't contain any added ingredients. The only negative is that it can be quite expensive and wasteful. The next type is filtered water. This is a really good option as it can't contain any bacteria that could harm your chinchilla. Next is tap. This is a yes and a no. Dirty tap water can contain parasites such as giardia. 
but most clean tap water doesn't. If you do feel uncomfortable about giving your chinchilla tap water, I would recommend giving them filtered or bottled water. However, if you do, if you want to, you can just make sure that it's clean. As a general rule of thumb, if you don't drink your tap water, don't give it to your chinchilla. The final type is distilled water. This is a suitable type of water. It just contains less minerals than filtered or bottled water. And finally, please make sure you are giving your chinchilla just water. Don't give them juice or fizzy drinks as that's not clean water. So just give your chinchilla still clean water. So that is the end of today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel and turning notifications on so you're notified whenever I upload a video. Comment down below any new video ideas that you want me to do. And as always, have an amazing day.